Hey guys, how's it going? All right, so um, last topic of chapter five in our trig unit for math 30, and the topic is called uh, trigonometric functions, or sorry, trigonometric functions, uh, we're doing trig applications. All right, so the question to our guys, this is kind of like our, our, our classic word problem um, section for this unit over here. Example one shows, um, the graph below shows the height of a point on a Ferris wheel, each in meters above the ground as a function of time, t in seconds. The max height is 17, and the minimum height is 1. So write an equation uh, for the particular point on the Ferris wheel as a function of time in the form h of t equals a cos of b t minus c plus d. So what we need to figure out here is we need to figure out what are the a, b, c, and d values. All right. So what we have over here is a. We we talked about these values um, earlier on in the, in the unit. We have a formula for a, which is max minus min over two. Now doing d at the same time, it's almost the same formula, but it's max plus min over two. The way I remember it is um, that the same formula, but a is the smaller letter, like D is the, the, the higher letter in the alphabet over here. So that means D gets the plus and then A gets the minus because A is the smaller one over here, okay? Just a little way that I remember, I remember these two formulas here. So applying these formulas here, we have 17 minus 1 over 2 is 16 divided by 2, which is 8. Um, our D value is 17 plus 1 over 2, which is 18 over 2, which is 9, okay? Our B value is 2 pi over our period, okay? Now looking at this graph, hopefully you can see that the length of one full cycle from here to here is 30 seconds. So this is going to equal 2 pi over 30 which simplifies to pi over 15, okay? The last part, we need to figure out what our C value is. Now for a cosine graph, this point over here, which is our, our maximum value, is normally right on the y-axis, and that means this guy has been translated, or a horizontal phase shift, going from here to here. Okay, so hopefully we can see that if this is 0 and this is 30, halfway between that is 15. And that is going to be our, um, this is going to be our, our C value. So the equation that we have is y equals 8 cos of pi over 15, x minus 15. Sorry guys, it's not x, this would be t minus 15, because it's our variable in this case. It's t, not x, um, plus 9. Okay. So just talking about this different, guys, so this is still a trig function. I'm going to say the main difference for this question and, and what we did in, in topic um, 5.1 and 5.2. Previously, the x-axis was always like the angle axis, and then the y-axis would be like, the value of sine or the value of cosine instead. Well, well, now, just the x-axis is now time, and the um, and the the y-axis is now um, is now h. So, guys, I'm going to fix one more thing here as well. This shouldn't have been y. This should have been h of t equals eight cos pi over fifteen t minus fifteen plus nine. While before we move on. Um, I'm going to go to my graphing calculator. And let's graph this guy. Okay. So we said it was y equals 8 of cos pi over 15 bracket x minus 15 bracket bracket plus Nine. Okay. Now, before I hit graph, we need to adjust our window settings here. The settings that we saw on our screen 
our time went from 0 to 60. And I'm going to go our y from 0 until 20. And if we graph this guy now, we should see this graph over here, which is the graph of the situation that um that we have over here. Okay, so so now a couple things, guys. Um, this has to be in in radian mode for this to work. Okay, so we use the formula b equals two pi over p. Okay, and so that means we're going to be using radians for all of these um these application questions that we have. Okay, so idea behind this topic is you're going to have to be given some sort of situation, figure out what this graph looks like. And when I say figure out what it looks like, guys, I can say like sketch the, the graph and then figure out what the cosine or the sine equation is going to be for that graph. So figure out your A, B, C, and D values, and then you'll have to go ahead and answer some questions based off, um, based off this guy. All right, so let's go back to our notes over here. Okay. So example two, a tire with a, with a nail caught in the tread has a diameter of 60 and rotates once every five seconds. Assume the nail is at the bottom of the tire at time zero, okay? So this is kind of like the classic type of question, guys. Really, guys, is, is anything like cyclical motion, so when, when, when something's going around and around in a circle like that, is going to be, um, kind of, I'm going to say, a classic type of question that we'll see in this unit. Um, but really, anything that kind of like... Any situation where something goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down, and keeps going back and forth in that right. So, like example, like um, if you look at the um, like the height of the tide in a it, it, on the ocean, well, it goes to high tide and it goes to low tide, then it goes to high tide and low tide, goes back and forth like that. That would be an example um, that we'll be using in this unit. Okay. Um, other things as well, like if you think like the um, like the number of hours of daylight over the course of a year, okay? Well, you know, on the shortest day of the year, you'd have the, the, the small amount of daylight, and then and then after that, the, the, the amount of daylight starts increasing until you hit the maximum value, and then it starts going back down again, okay? So that over time, it's gonna follow that exact same um, type of sinusoidal pattern over here, okay? So going back to the situation here, we have the height, and we have time, okay? Now, what they're saying over here, assume that the nail is at the bottom of the tire at time zero. So the bottom of the tire, that means it's gonna be at height zero, because it's going, um, it's going to be on the ground. So, 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 so that, that means the nail is actually on the ground, still in the tire, but like the, but the, the nail is gonna be on the bottom of the tire over here. And then as you rotate this through, the nail would go to the top of the tire, come back down, Go to the top again, back down, and it would keep following in this pattern over here. Okay, so once we kind of see what the graph looks like, we just have to start putting some numbers on it. We said the tire has a diameter of 60, so that means the maximum height over here is going to be 60. Okay, um, it rotates once every five seconds, so that means from here to here, so that this would be five. And that means this would be 10 seconds over here. And really, guys, once we have this, we can figure out everything we know. We know that this is zero over here. So we need to figure out our A, B, C, and D values. Same as our last example. All the formulas are the same. We're just kind of applying to, di to different, a different context with different numbers. Okay, so, um, all right, what's our max minus min over 2? 60 minus 0 over 2 is 30. We're in the exact same value for this because 60 plus 0 over 2 is also 30. Our b value is 2 pi over 5. Okay, now it's a little bit trickier over here, so like we have a sine graph over here, okay? Now the way the sine graph is going to do is like, well, we know that... Our, our median value, or our D value, is 30, okay? So the reason why it's different for this one is for a cosine graph, this point is normally on the y-axis, but for a sine graph, this guy is on the y-axis, okay? So 
If we know that from here to here is 5, that means from here to here is 2.5, halfway between, and then halfway between 0 and 2.5 would be this guy, is going to be 1.25. Okay? So our C value for sine is 1.25. So our equation is going to be h of t equals 30 sine of 2 pi over 5 t minus 1 and a quarter plus 30. Okay. Let's go ahead and verify this on our on our graph. So using this over here, I can go y equals, clear this out, and we have 30 sine 2 pi over 5 t minus 1.25, close bracket, close bracket, plus 30. Okay. Now again, guys, we have to do a bit of work with our window settings here. But I'm going to go from 0 to 10. That will be two full cycles of this graph. Our y min is 0. Our y max, oh, it should be 60. I'm just going to go a bit higher than that, say like 70. And I'm going to say maybe a scale of 10. And I'm just going to change my x scale here as well. Let's change this to 1.25. So we say graph. We're seeing almost the exact same picture that we saw before, okay? But it just we've adjusted our window settings, and we're seeing a graph that looks like this guy over here, okay? All right, second part of this question. The car was hoisted so the bottom of the tire was 10 centimeters above the ground, and the car was spun out of rotation every four seconds. Turn to the new equation, okay? So what's going to be a little bit different here. So now, the graph's going to look like this. So if this is, um, it's happening every four seconds, so we have a four here, and then eight, and then this guy over here would be 12. So the bottom of the tire is 10 centimeters above, and if the diameter is 60, that means it's going to have a maximum height of 70 now, okay? So now for this part, we're just going to do the exact same thing, okay? A equals max minus min over 2 is 70 minus 10 over 2 equals 60 over 2, which is 30, so that hasn't changed. B equals 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2. We want to sign equation again. So here's 4. We know that this part over here is 2. That means this point here will be 1. So for our sine equation, our C value is going to be 1. And our D value is going to be max plus min over 2. 80 over 2 is 40. So the equation for part B would be Equation for B would be, let's get this out of the way here. We're going to get Y equals, of course, this happens like this. All right, so we have 30 sine of pi over 2. This is our new B value. T minus 1 plus 40. So this is going to be our answer for our equation for example 2b. Okay. All right. So here's the next one. Uh, the function that describes the path of a children's roller coaster at an amusement park is h equals negative 5 cos 2 pi over 100 x plus 5. h is the height above the ground and x is the distance along the ground in meters. Engineers design a new roller coaster for the park to provide with a more thrilling experience. The graph. Um, describes the path of the new roller coaster shown below. 
from the graph of the new roller coaster states the amplitude and the period. So our amplitude is max minus min over 2, which is 10. Now, what you saw in the other one is our amplitude is going to be the absolute value of this one, which is going to be um, 5. Okay. What's the period of this guy over here? So the period, you can tell from here to there. Well, if from here to here is 100, well, this is half that distance. The period equals 50. Okay, this is going to be 50, um, 50 meters. Okay, so, all right, so, so this is what we have so far. For part four, the periods of the new and the current roller coasters are different. Explain how the period of the new roller coaster makes the ride more thrilling. Okay, so if you look back over here. First of all, the amplitude is bigger, which means that you're going to go to a to a, to a bigger height. Okay, so you're going to be covering a bigger change in distance. Okay, and then the fact that the period is smaller in this case over here. Now, why over here? So the our period is going to be two pi over b, and our b value is two pi over one hundred. So this is like two pi over one times one hundred over 2 pi, the 2 pi's cancel out equals 100. So what's happening is you're going to be changing, going to a higher height and then down the higher height in a shorter horizontal distance, okay? So to me, like the speed of the second roller coaster is going to be much faster than the speed of the first roller coaster, okay? And that's what we're saying for this guy over here. So explain how the period makes the ride more thrilling. Okay. So it means that the you are going from the bottom to the top over a shorter um, horizontal distance. Um, I say the speed of the roller coaster will be greater. All right, guys. Okay, so um, this is kind of the um, how these type of questions go. Um, and guys, I'm, I'm going to I'll, I'll continue these next the next examples in, in another video over here. Um, but it's the um, these type of questions over here are just you have to be able to draw a, a trig function based off a situation and then figure out what the equation is going to be for those guys as well. Okay. Um, Guys, for this section over here, um, there's not a ton of textbook work that you have to do on this one, but make sure that you guys are doing these ones for practice. And um, guys, I'll uh, see you in the next video.